So hey guys, what's up? I am so sorry. It has been three weeks since my last post. LOL, well, my bad. Uh, just between work, school, not school because I'm not actually in school, LOL, JK. And the holidays, my family, getting sick and um, traveling. It's just been so hard to sit down and film and there's just been points where I'm like, I can't do this today and I just kind of went on this like little unannounced hiatus just for a bit just so I could kind of get some things in my life together so just wanted to say excuse that but I know nobody really cared nobody was complaining so so I just wanted to say hi and my bad and what's up good to see you guys again I'm really excited for today's video today's video is kind of just like a quick one um because recently I've been doing some traveling and um for those of you who aren't personal close friends of mine uh you don't know that I recently went to Washington DC for the uh Passion Christian Collegiate Conference which was super fun and if you were there or if you went to the one in Atlanta um let me know um let's talk about speakers I would love to hear your thoughts it was just such a beautiful place to be and such a beautiful time to worship and so if you were there if you watched online let me know I would love to talk about it with you that actually was the inspiration for this video because as I was um, packing to go we could only take carry-on stuff and I thought wow this is a really good opportunity for me to show you guys what's in my travel makeup bag and what I kind of reach for when it comes to packing my makeup for when I do travel so I wanted to go ahead and get into what is in my makeup bag it's humongous and it's so full. This is just what I took to DC. There are other products that I love to travel with um, that I didn't take with me. This is just kind of what I ended up taking. Um, so I will kind of offer up those as like honorable mentions, but this is my actual like travel makeup. Like this is kind of what I reach for because it works so consistently for me that like I just can't leave it at home. Like I need something that's gonna be sustainable and last and get me through TSA. So starting in the order that I do my makeup, I'm gonna start with primer. So I brought with me the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. So it looks like this. It's just kind of like a gel consistency in a stick form. It is 0.51 ounces. Comes in this like really cute little mint packaging. I like this a lot. It says Prep and Hydrate, which is really great for right now because it's freezing cold. And I definitely was reaching for this because one, I was going to where it was 10 degrees. <laughs> and my skin is just dry as it can get. It actually hydrates my skin. It's not just like illuminating or dewy. It actually puts moisture into my dry flaky skin. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to take this with me. It creates such a nice, solid base for foundation to go on top of it and actually did make my makeup last a really long time. Okay, so I brought two concealers with me. One is actually relatively new to me and one is just a favorite that I love, love, love. And I found that when I mix these two colors together, it kind of gives me the best shade because I didn't bring foundation on this trip with me. I just brought concealer. Um, so I brought with me the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this is in the shade... Oops, Fair Neutral. And I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. And it's funny, this one is actually a lot like warmer and kind of brighter than this one is. So this one really tones it down and kind of makes it more my skin tone. These together are such a beautiful combination and they actually have very similar consistencies separate. Um, the colors are just completely different. So that's why I like to use them together to kind of, you know, custom match my shade. And in the color pop, there is 0.14 ounces. And in the Urban Decay, there is 0.12 fluid ounces so again TSA friendly here's the deal when I was at passion like it was like 18 hour days we would get up at 7 we would be back you know in our hotel room by like 1 a.m. 2 a.m. like it was a long time so I needed my makeup to last on my face and of course when you wear your makeup for like 18 hours boy that's gonna crack like <laughs> come on that's not don't don't get crazy I just found that these did not make it obvious that my makeup was just drying and old like when I looked up really close like I could kind of see oh we're getting a little sick there but I felt like it did such a great job of covering the extreme dark circles I had from the lack of sleep and it just held together throughout the day so I was really impressed with how these performed and I'm really excited about this I've just been loving this concealer this is the Urban Decay one again I really have been liking this so I'm really excited to see where this goes in the future with me because it's kind of getting up there in my favorites and these two together just magnifique. For powder, I took, ugh, this has just become such a ride or die so fast. I took with me the Kat Von D blotting powder in the shade Light, and it looks like this on the inside, just a regular blotting powder. This has just been such a beautiful, lightweight formula. I've really been enjoying this, and it just, it kept that concealer on for as long as that concealer lasted. I, I'm pretty sure I could almost owe it all to this. This just kept it down, locked in tight, especially under here, especially on my forehead. I really, really like this. I love how well it's been working and for the fact that I didn't retouch anything throughout the day, my makeup did pretty good. 
if you ask me. So I feel like this was definitely an essential take with me. I really enjoyed having this. For bronzer, I took just, you have, I feel like I have to take this with me when I travel. This is such a low maintenance, beautiful bronzer. And I feel like everybody knows what it is. I feel like it's such like a typical pick especially for travel makeup and it is the physician's formula butter bronzer a cult classic favorite love looks like this this is just oh this is in the shade light i thought this whole time i had the regular shade but i don't this is in the shade light bronzer and it just you know such a soft contour beautiful shade you can go as hard as you want into this onto your face and it just will not look sloppy it will not look muddy it was beautiful magnifique and it does last a really long time on the skin and of course the smell, the smell alone <laughs> kind of is what does it for me. There's a lot of loose powders that I really, really love. I feel like for me, it's not hard to find a loose powder that I love, you know? <laughs> it's not easy for me to find one that I don't like, but if, for when I'm traveling, I need something that I know will for sure not mess me up throughout the day, and that is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Fair. But I always bring this because it's just, it's such a perfect loose powder. It does the job you can set with this, you can do whatever you want with this, you can bake with this. It doesn't stick to your concealer, it doesn't make anything look crazy, it doesn't crease, it just prevents anything, it just, I just feel like it makes my skin look so flawless and so poreless, and I really, really love this. I can't say enough good things about it. Ugh, fur blush. I only took one blush with me because I knew it would be the only blush that I would want. This is my favorite blush of all time, and I'm actually so impressed with how long this has lasted me. This is the, um, Tarte blush what is it the tart blush tart amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade party so this was from the sephora birthday kit last year i think so this is that like deluxe sample set i have used this just about like every day and it is still like i haven't even hit pan there's like a decent dent but not really i feel like this is just such a beautiful nude blush i really love how this looks on my fair skin i really just oh god it's just it's so natural and so beautiful. I love this. I know the shade is exclusive to Sephora. I don't think it was limited edition. I'm pretty sure they still sell it, but I really recommend this. Because we had to take carry-on, I decided to get a little bold and take a more expensive product, but I will mention a drugstore product for if you're gonna check bags and you're worried about cracking or, th like, or thieving or whatever. So what I took was the Hourglass ambient strobe metallic you know what I'm you know what it is, you know what it is. These powders are so beautiful and they lasted forever on my face the full 18 hours these things stayed on my face glowing bright son of a gun nobody everybody stay out of my way like just oh. need i say more need i say more no and I, but i also did want to mention another drugstore option that i really enjoy taking with me when i travel and that is the flower beauty highlighting palette i really like this i these shades i feel like are so underrated like these highlighters are freaking amazing and nobody gives them any hype. They're so, 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 so pigmented. I mean, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> what? I feel like these just fly so under the radar and I don't really get it. They're beautiful, creamy. This formula is delicious. They last a really long time and it's drugstore, so what more could you ask for? I really recommend this, even just for everyday use. This is a really great palette, and I definitely love to travel with this, but I decided to take my ambient lighting palette because I haven't been using it as of recently, because I'm kind of trying all these different highlighters, and I kind of wanted to come back to a baby that I love. So, again, these two, just great, because they have a great range of shades, and they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous highlighters. Moving on to eyes for brows. Oh, God. I took my tried and true... My, like my favorite combination which is the Benefit Cabrow Brow Pomade and this is I have it in the shade 4 which I believe is their oh my god I have it in the shade 4 which I believe is their cooler brown shade looks like that it's this big beautiful packaging so there's the pomade here's the brush I actually do use the brush I like it a lot I feel like it's really good at shaping my brows I have been in love with this product since I got it at the Ulta 21 Days sale, and it, it's just been such a ride or die for me recently. I love it. And then I also like to gel my brows to make sure they just kind of stay put on um, the hairs and everything. So I have had the Essence Make Me Brow, which is just such a great, great gel. I feel like oh, it's so cheap. It's so cheap, and my eyebrows are not crunchy. They're not gross looking. They're not clumpy, but it stays in place all day, all day. And these two together are just a match made in define brow heaven. I love them. I love, I love, lo love, love, I love, 
I just love it. I just love it. I didn't take an eyeshadow primer with me because usually when I travel, I don't take an eyeshadow primer or I just take one of those e.l.f. ones or just buy one at like a CVS. Typically what I'll do for eyeshadow primer is I'll just kind of use my beauty blender or sponge or brush and I'll just kind of pat concealer onto my eye because it does essentially the same thing. I did bring one eyeshadow palette just for kind of every day if I needed to cover the veins and of course I brought my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. I feel like these are just such gorgeous shades for every day. I love the looks I can make with these. I love all matte eyes so of course I went with an all matte palette and it's got a great mirror which is kind of one of the reasons why I brought it so I only brought one. I didn't really get to use it that often. I just used kind of like a couple of the lighter shades to kind of just define my crease and cover up my veins. But I do love this palette. I love this formula and these colors stay so vibrant throughout the day. So I really recommend this, especially when you're traveling. For liner, I have a stick liner and I have a liquid liner. So for liquid, I went ahead and I brought the May Maylene the Milani Stay Put Liquid Liner. This is such a holy grail liner for me. This replaced my Balm Schwing. They are basically dupes for each other. It's just this one is so much cheaper. It is drugstore and it is so black. So this is the Maybelline Stay Put and it has, let's see here, 0 0.09 fluid ounces. So TSA friendly, super black. It comes with this little, you know, felt applicator. Look at that. Look at that. Look how black that is. Oh, God. And it stays all day. It really does. Like, it says somewhere on here, like, 17-hour wear. It's for real. Like, it means that it's 17-hour wear, and I can test to that for real. For real. And for my stick eyeliner, you gotta go with my baby, the ColourPop Swerve Liner. No, no surprises there. Now, I always bring two mascaras with me just in case one dries up or something happens and I usually like to take a voluminous mascara and a lengthening mascara and I like to use them in combination with each other. So I was going to take my L'Oreal Lash Paradise but of course it dried out because it only lasts like two weeks. Mm. So instead I went ahead and brought my Essence Lash Princess. At first I really didn't like this. I felt like it made my lashes look so ugly and so clumpy and it got everywhere but the more I use it the more I like it so I've really been just like loving on this mascara recently and I also love just a holy grail product for me which is the Milani Lash Trifecta which is a great lengthening mascara look at that wand ugh girl what it's just perfect and especially if I do get clumps if I coat it too many times it just you just do that and it w rips them all out it's just top dogs. There's 0.40 ounces in the Lash Princess and there is, let's see here, 0.28 ounces in the Lash Trifecta. I only brought a couple of lips with me but I usually do because I feel like when I do travel, when I go out, I don't bring as many lip products just because I feel like I'm always doing something or going somewhere and I'm not sure what I'm gonna be, you know, like what kind of antics I'm gonna get into so I don't usually end up putting on lipstick but when I do, I have to bring the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. These are without a doubt Honestly, I think the best liquid lipstick that you can buy, especially drugstore, this, these are just the best ones. And when you put it on at first, it looks so like glossy and very high shine. But when it dries down, and it, it dries down kind of high shine too, but these things just, once it's down and dried, it doesn't budge. And it doesn't matter what you eat, it doesn't matter who you're kissing, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter if you're swimming. This stuff does not leave your face until you take it off. It is unreal. And the fact that there's like no hype around these products is insulting. It's insulting because they are just that good. And I have taken these with me everywhere because they do not fail me. They don't fail me ever. So this time I took these three shades. I just want to go ahead and give them a shout out because I have just been loving these colors recently. So I have the shade 15 in the sh 15 Lover, 50 Voyager, and 45 Escapist. As for setting spray, you got to go with the Catrice Prime and Fine. This is just amazing, amazing stuff. This is one of the best setting sprays from the drugstore. I would honestly say it's comparable to the Milani one. I think that's just how good it is. It has, let's see here, 1.69 fluid ounces, so that's under 3.4. TSA friendly. It is just, the mist is so fine. It just makes my makeup stay all day. I feel like just this, this, this is so good and don't sleep on it. You know, it's tiny. It works really great. I know I can depend on it and that's why I love it. You need this. I'm so serious. You need this for real. 
all right guys so that was everything that was in my makeup travel kit so thank you guys so much for watching i just felt like sharing this in case you guys are planning on going on a trip anytime soon and you're looking for some ideas on what to pack this is really what i recommend these are my personal favorites what worked best for me i really hope they work for you if you want to try them or if you love them already let me know down in the comments because i want to talk about how awesome these products are they're so good and so worth your money but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you on the next one catch you later Bye.